Today marks 70 years since the SS Badger car ferry was launched for the first time ever in Sturgeon Bay back in 1952. Since then, it's played a significant role in the history of Northeast Wisconsin and the Manitowoc area. NBC 26's Ben Boken has a look at a piece of that history as well as the boat's impact on local businesses. It's a floating National Historic Landmark, and when the SS Badger Car Ferry comes into port, it can drop off 600 passengers in downtown Manitowoc. We meet it when it comes back in May. We send it off when it leaves. And many of those passengers become customers of businesses like the Flower Gallery, where Patty Roth works. They actually will buy plants for the Badger, so I have some stories of those that have bought. 70 years ago on Tuesday, the SS Badger Car Ferry launched into the water for the first time ever. Today it travels between Ludington, Michigan and Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Roth says the boat has made the area more welcoming for visitors. I have seen a lot of improvements over the last 10 years, signage. Um, we have that great statue of the Badger welcoming people, the bobber. What's your favorite thing personally about the Badger? Over the years I've gotten to meet a lot of awesome, amazing people traveling who have wonderful stories to tell about their time on board. SS Badger Director of Marketing and Sales Shelby Suboraski says millions of people have set sail on the Badger, creating an extensive economic impact on both sides of Lake Michigan. She would carry you know, different types of manufacturing goods, um, produce, um, canned goods, really anything that was manufactured in West Michigan, Northeast Wisconsin. It was originally built to carry railroad cars across the lake. Some people even moved to the area to work on it. You don't have to go far, especially in Lunnington and Manitowoc, to find um, family members that their families settled in these areas because of all the jobs and everything going on. Today, the Badger has been upgraded to carry semis, motor coaches, oversized loads, and vehicles of every shape and size imaginable. So far, it stood the test of time. What a really cool connection between the two communities, especially, um, but seeing that her history really does live on. In Manitowoc, Ben Boken, NBC 26. Ben, thank you. And taking a closer look at the history behind ferries on Lake Michigan. In 1875, the Flint and Pier Marquette Railroad began cross lake steamer service between Ludington, Michigan and Sheboygan. But it wouldn't be until 1897 until the ferries earned the term car ferries on Lake Michigan with the addition of the first Ludington car ferry, the steel hulled Pier Marquette. At its height in the 1950s, Seven ships sailed in and out of the Ludington Harbor year-round, transporting rail freight and passengers across Lake Michigan to the Wisconsin ports of Manitowoc, Milwaukee, and Kewanee.